Welcome to Instant Insights. I'm one of the violin faculty at the Swanee Summer Music Festival and happy to share an insight with you. When I turn my left hand as if I'm playing the violin, then mirror that with my right hand and compare the two, it's amazing how much my, more my left hand is able to rotate than my right. If I try to rotate my right arm further to match the left, I'll definitely feel some strain. But I think this is the reason why some young violinists struggle with the left fourth finger. I sometimes come across students whose pinky collapses when they press on the fingerboard. I'm talking specifically about this joint. It usually happens at an early age when kids first start learning the violin because the pinky is outstretched trying to play the fourth finger high enough. This habit can extend to adulthood. Unfortunately, it can make it difficult to play with agility and without tension. Vibrato can also be a challenge when that joint is collapsed. Although the pinky, the pinky is a, a weak finger compared to the other digits, so this collapsing can happen in both hands. Here are my suggestions. First is to bring the knuckle closer to the fingerboard by rotating my arm from the elbow. This is where some strain might be felt, as I mentioned in the beginning. I make sure the line of knuckles isn't too low relative to the neck. This creates a more pronounced arch, which is stronger and less likely to collapse. The second is to make sure the elbow is in the right place, sometimes hanging vertically and sometimes a little to the right, especially if you're on the D or G strings. Thirdly is to gradually strengthen the pinky by not pressing the string all the way down. If you're on the E string, which is an easy string to begin with, aim for B flat and lightly tap the third and fourth fingers together and gradually increase pressure until the string contacts the fingerboard, but only as long as there is no collapsing. You can gradually increase the space between your third and fourth fingers as long as the fourth finger remains curved. A way you can straight strengthen the pinky uh, without the violin is to, to touch your pinky and thumb so it makes an arch. Press firmly and gradually straighten that pinky, but if you feel one of the joints starting to collapse, stop straightening and hold it before it starts to collapse. You can also try this with a peg, which will give you some resistance. Here is an exercise to help keep the shape of the fourth finger. As you play larger and larger intervals, reach back with the other fingers, then reaching forward with the pinky. The trickiest interval is the low second finger. Thanks for watching. Don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions.